move the truck tire to get the chains where we can hook them, okay? If we have the truck pull forward, the chain's coming around, and where you hook them is back of the tire, right? Can you see the oncoming traffic? No, no way. You want to always see the traffic coming at you so you can jump out of the way, okay? If you back the truck up, where you hook the chains up is now the front of the tire. Now here you are. You can see the oncoming traffic. It's a safety issue. It's, it's not a mechanical issue. It's a better one way or better the other. It's purely a safety issue. You will find a lot of trucks that will move it forward. A lot of drivers will move it backwards. That's the difference. If, you're, if you move it backwards, you never take your eye off the oncoming cars. It's just a safety issue. Okay. All righty, let me see if we got anything else. If not, we'll get some change. Different guys have different opinions. I say guys. How tight should they be? Here's one way to help you out. When the chains are on, you've got them properly installed, you got the bungees on, you got the cams tightened up, Take your hand, you take one of the cross links here, and if you can get your fingertips under the chain, but it can't go all the way, just your fingertips, you're good. If your hand can slide all the way under that chain, it's too loose. If you can't get your fingertips under that chain, it's too tight, okay? The other thing is heat causes, you know, friction causes heat, heat expands metal. Once you get your chains on, you've inspected them, you're good to go. Don't just take off and go from here to fill them, right? Drive a very short distance, and I don't mean miles, I mean a short distance. Stop your truck and inspect your chains. Why? They because the friction them. will cause them to expand and they will get loose. What? Yep, trust me, they will get loose. So like, if you put them on here, get to exit 72, pull off and inspect your chain. Okay? Make sure all you have to do is tighten them up a little bit. If you don't do that, what's going to happen to the chain? It's going to break. Okay? And then you're going to have to bring it back here and tell Josh, oh, I ripped off the quarter fender panel because my chain broke. Not good. Okay, any questions about the safety stuff? If you don't realize it, now you got to pull the rain near hill, you got to put your chains on, you get out of the truck there at Longview, and there's a padlock down here. You can't get your chains. Okay? All right? Some people put wire ties through there. If you don't have a knife, you can't get it out. Okay? Another reason to really inspect your truck, especially in winter driving. You're screwed if you can't get them off. Okay? So this one here. Should be around here somewhere. I'll see if this one my truck I take it off. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what I was talking about, the de-icer, if you just ran 10 miles in slush and snow, you can't get these off of here. Mm -hmm. So I've seen guys with hammers beating the hell out yeah. of it. I just take the de-icer and go, <laughs> wait about 30 seconds, they come right off. Okay, the important thing about chains is you have to inspect them because if I try to put these on right now, and I've seen guys do this, take them right off the chain rack, and now they go like this. That ain't right, no, okay. So what we want to look at, the terminology, we have cross links. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what a cross link is, okay? <laughs> That's those things, okay? The problem is, if you don't look at them, you can have a twist in one. And if it has a twist and it goes on the tire, you're going to break your chain. Twisted. 
And no matter how nice you put them on the rack, they're always going to mess up. So what we want to look for, and this is what you do before you ever leave the yard. And if you're the only one that drives the trucks, you can do it once and get away with it. You got a partner driving the truck? I check them every single time, okay? You want to make sure none of them are broke, okay? So you're looking at them, okay? You want to make sure that these hooks, remember I was talking about the hooks? That's these things. These hooks always go away from the tire. And if you think about it, it it's almost common sense. If they're, if they're like this versus like this, that is going to tear your tire all to pieces. Hooks always go away from the tire, always, okay? Even the bungee cord hooks that you use, if you hook them like that into the tire versus like that, okay? The cam I was talking about, these are, these are sometimes referred to as self-tightening chains. That's what guys are talking about, okay? That's the cam, okay? All right? The cam... If you look about it, and if you just look at it for a second, and think about physics, how it works, you rotate that, that shortens the distance between the chain, that's how it tightens it up, okay? And that little tool slides right in there, okay? And so you can imagine, I've seen guys with <laughs> screwdrivers trying to tighten these up because they didn't have a tightener. When you get you know? on the right way, it smiles at you, that's how you know it's on the right way. If it's so, not smelling at you, you got it on <laughs> So that's the cam. That's what we're talking about. Over time, they become rusted. They won't articulate. Okay. Now, if I put it on like this, what's going to happen? I'm not going to straighten them up very much. But if I put them on like this, where's the cam going to be? Inside. inside the cam should always be on the outside you lay the chain out inspect it everything seems to be good okay make sure all the cams are open okay like they're fully extended they they could be be different but make sure they're all all ready find the center of the chain and put the center of the chain over the center of the tire why that way you don't have to drive the whole length of the chain okay so we find the center, and you don't need a slide rule. Well, I forget new generation, you don't even know what a slide rule is. Okay, just fix the approximate center, okay? Grab it. And throw it over the truck tire, okay? Now when, the, when it's finally mounted, I'm gonna show you how not to do it, okay? When the chain is on, the distance between the length of the chain and the rim and the tread should be the same all the way around. In other words, you don't want part of the chain like this and part of the chain like that. Yeah. You want it to be the equal distance, okay? Remember, you're doing in some slushy snow. It's a pain in the butt. As even as you can possibly get it. Okay? Now, when you move the vehicle, one common mistake, it's hard to see the inside length. And the mistake is the length is not outside the tire. It's kind of in the middle of the tread. So when you back up, you trap it, okay? So you just take a look, make sure you can see the hook, okay? You might have to move it out a little bit like that, okay? And this is what I was talking about. You can pull forward and tighten it. Certainly you can do that, okay? You can back up and tighten it, but you want to always face the oncoming traffic, okay? 
So if if we pull forward where we have to hook it, it's going to be back here. And this is what I was talking about. Now I have to hook it like this, and I can't see what's coming at me. If I have the driver back up, this part is going to be here. And now I can hook it and see. This is purely a safety. This part is for truckers help each other. Okay. It's much easier if I'm chaining up my truck and she's chaining up her trucks if I come help her for a second, right? Because it's easier if she's here, well, if it's her truck, I would have her get in and move it, and then I can tell her, stop. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's frustrating because yeah. you don't go far enough. Mm -hmm. Then you get back in the truck, you move it again. Now you went too far. So help each other, okay? Help each other. So... We need somebody to move this beast. I ain't moving it. I don't have a CDL anymore. Actually, I do, but I'm not going to tell Josh I do. Make sure you're not standing in the Okay, you always hook the inside rail first. Never hook the outside. Always do the inside first. If you're doing a set of doubles and they have triple railers, any of your tractors have triple? Disregard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hate those damn triple chains. Anyway. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll tell you. Later. Okay. But always hook the inside one first. Okay. So we can. Uh, This, this is where that plastic comes in handy. If this is all ice and snow and i got to lay down in it, I'm going to get really pissed. You hook it up to the highest length that you can reach. Not the lowest one. The lowest one's easiest to hook, okay? Hook it up to the highest length that it can reach. This is what I was talking about on the other side, you couldn't see. Don't hook it to the easiest one. That's what happens. You want to hook it up to the highest one that you can reach. Might be able to get that one. Okay. Now you're going to have some extra links here. Okay. These can be a problem if you don't secure them because they're going to flop around. Right? One way to do it, not all chains can do this. I don't know if this one can. Let me see. You can put the first link over it, slide it all the way down. Okay, see, that secured that loose end. Mm -hmm. Not all chains, you can do that. If it works, fine. If not, you have to use a bungee cord. Okay? Now we look and see if they're all equal. Okay? Did I keep one of those? You kept the long There's one. one right there on the table there. On the corner here. Yeah. The tools? Should you start up here or down there? The bottom. Always start at the bottom because you've got leverage and your advantage if you do it at the top. Okay. It just rotates. Slides right in there and it just rotates. See how it's tightening up already? Mm -hmm. See how hard it's getting? Mm -hmm. If I had started up here, now you're down here trying to. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. 
Can't get my hand, my hand can roll all the way through it. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can use it. Okay, if it was all tightened up, everything was tightened up and my hand could do that, it's too loose. Okay. So it is okay to have one not locked if you don't? You don't need to have them all locked. Okay. If you've got four of them, you can only lock three. That's good. Okay. okay. This is a measure. That's what you can use Okay. My hand can slide pretty far under it. Okay. 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 Now remember, these are going to loosen up. By the time you go from here, halfway to 72, it's going to get loose again. What we do is you should always have, make sure you have them on your chip truck, okay? Mm -hmm. And would it go this way? No. Mm -hmm. Always out. Okay. And you recommend two or three? Normally, they make commercial, they call them spiders. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have them. Okay. I hope, I wish I had a real long one. If you get one that is super long and you go to put it on and it goes from here to here, don't throw it away. Just tie a knot in. And shorten it. Okay? These might be too short. I don't know if my weak old body can do this one. Okay? And again, if it's too loose, just tie a knot in. Okay. Randy? Yeah. A short one and a medium. Take that short one and you go on one third of the tire and you take that other one. Then you just take another one. Okay. This is a tarp chain. I don't think it'll work. It might. There's no wrong way to do it. I might do it this way. He might do it another way. The point is, you need something to keep this tight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Almost a 